Death toll in Surfside rising to 94 today. 83 of those victims have been identified with 80 next of kin notified so far. Right now, another 22 people remain potentially unaccounted for about two and a half weeks after this tragic collapse. And only on Local 10, we are getting a look inside as investigators inspect the sister building in Surfside, Champlain Towers North. The building developed by the same architect and structural engineer. Local 10's Christina Vasquez is live with the exclusive Christina. The structural engineer you are about to meet describes all the variables he's looking at in this investigation, like a huge Rubik's Cube, if you can imagine that. It really is structural detective work. And right now, tonight, he is taking you with him on his hunt for clues. So if we do it up here, we get between the single bars. The man Surfside hired to investigate the cause of the Champlain Towers South collapse. What this says to me is the slab was poured as it was going to be a roof. Alan Kilsheimer of KCE Structural Engineers. You might run into waterproofing or roofing. That's a possibility. Then we'll decide what we drill in the structural slab below. It's taking you with him. We're going this way, I can see the bottom floor. As he searches for clues at nearby Champlain Towers North. So there are actually two layers of fill. This is when they leveled it up. This is the fill they put in. We are in a penthouse unit where the structural engineer. We have scanned uh, parts of the slab and some columns to locate reinforcing steel. Is directing crews to drill into concrete from a unit's balcony column and floor. And then we have drilled some concrete core samples in the slabs. Uh, avoiding the reinforcing steel where we could. The holes will all be cleaned out and filled in with 8,000 PSI concrete before we leave today. Materials being gathered for analysis. This will tell me the strength of the material that's in this building that we don't know and so we're finding out at by s testing it in place. The study of the North Tower just helps us understand a little bit about how the building was put together and that may or may not be how the South building was put together. From this balcony on Champlain North, he can see the footprint of Champlain South, explaining his work investigating the collapse site on site will likely start once the current recovery mission ends. And he tells us today that once he has access to the collapse site, he will then also be gathering materials there. Take, for example, concrete samples. But he did want you to understand that he's at the beginning of what's expected to be a months long investigation. Reporting live for you tonight in Surfside, I'm Christina Vasquez, Local 10 News.